Hey guys, and welcome to Blender Agenda's fifth video tutorial. This one will be teaching you how to make 3D objects. So you, first of all, you have your default cube. This time we're not going to be erasing that. Instead, we're going to scale it up so you have an oblong type shape. It's about twice as long on the X axis. So you can do this by hitting S and as you're in scale mode, hit X, Y or Z to scale it along the different axes. So in this one as we're creating a sofa we'll make it about the rough shape of sofa. Then hit Shift D to duplicate it once more. And remember, hit scale, then X, Y or Z to scale it along. This will be the headboard. So you'll probably want this one a bit shorter along the y-axis, like that. And then if you go down into top view and then hit G to grab, you can grab it and put it roughly on the top of the sofa there. So this will be the sofa headboard. Then in view, go to front and then if you hit G once more, you can grab it up and have it just in line with the top so it fits nicely. And then once you've done that just do a bit of tweaking until you like the shape. I think I'll move it down the Z axis here. And then once you've finished go into edit mode. Oh wait, sorry. My bad. Go into object mode then select the one you want, then go into edit mode by hitting tab and subdivide it about three or four times, whatever's good for you until you see it's got a fair amount of faces on it then. Then hit control and tab and go on select faces. Remember the right finger click, holding down shift you can select all the multiple faces that you want. Once you've done that hit E to extrude them and just the region you want and go sideways so it's easier hit E to extrude region and you want about that big since this is going to be the cushions we're not going for any posh set here just the ones you see in the scabby diners nothing special just a quick tutorial and now you can always use that to hit B but look at the problem it selects them down the bottom and if you extrude it it drags that down the bottom as well so you can do that by doing it sideways, but it's more work than it's worth. So just use, make sure you select it on the faces, and right finger click and shift to select six of them once more for the cushion. And then go sideways, extrude, and have it upwards again, just very slightly on the Y axis. Z axis, sorry. Then, as you see, we have the rough basis for our cushion and all together the sofa by hitting tab mode to go back into object mode just scale it up a bit more just tweaking it for now I'm not going to be too precise just a r quick rough sofa yeah it looks good enough make sure you have it all selected by shift and right click and click on set smooth and now you'll see already a vast improvement it looks a lot more like a sofa since they don't remake really sofas very hard and spiky, do they? Then once we've done that, go on to add modifier, subsurf, and I put it up to just level two for now, but you don't want to head anywhere above level five-ish, because trust me, your computer will freeze on you. And then it'll go psycho for the next week. And you don't want that to happen to me. So just grab it a bit more, move it along the X axis into position and then go onto the ball for material file append or link and I'll leave a link in the description we have a database for all the materials pick a level one for now since it's a sofa load library I'll leave a link to all this don't worry then from there onto your material <coughs> make sure it's on the headboard and the actual seating board so now you can see they're both like that 
hit F12 to render it. And there we go, a uh, brown leather sofa. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the Blender Agenda, as we will be adding more tutorials in the not-too-distant future. Thanks, guys.